exciting contest here tonight. And wait a minute, is that, I can't believe it, it's Navy Blue making his way back to the WWE 4 Arena. My God, he's big as hell, man. He's fired up. He's ready to start taking on the Super He's ready. Let's see what he's got to say, Brad. Oh, yeah. Hot damn. Man, I thought about coming back here for quite some time, and damn, it is good to be back. Boy, well, I tell you, he's sound fired up Go there, ahead, Brad. Yeah, he's ready. Number 332 of the PWI. Yeah. No doubt about it. Why not? Give it up for FCW superstar, Deshaun Fisher. That's right. You know, turn this mic down a little bit. There's an echo. Yeah, that's right, fans. Top 500 of the Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Go you know, get it. Guys, to be honest with you, you know, I knew I always dreamt of coming back here, getting this ring, stepping on this apron, climbing through these ropes, grabbing a microphone one more time in the WWE for arena, and delivering one of the greatest monologues ever heard. But I knew if I was to come back here and touch this mic again, like, I love Lucy, I'd have a lot of explaining to do. Because I, I would have to explain why I left in the first place. Why I stayed gone for so long, and I'd have to explain why. I want to hear it, now Brad. did I come back? Navy's feeling. And finally I got all those answers and more. You see, I left and became FCW superstar Deshaun Bishop. I left. I had a dark match with TNA. I left and I made it to the mountain on the PWI. I wasn't number 500. I wasn't number 501 like a lot of these guys back here claim they are. I wasn't even in the back bottom 100. I was number 332, an accomplishment. No doubt about it. Great accomplishment. No doubt about and it. To me, it Hands on. That means when I step into this ring in this arena with these superstars, I am by far the best wrestler here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well. Those are some big words in the WWA 4. But on top of no that, here's the kicker, folks. I'm also the best wrestler to never have won the WWA 4 Heavyweight Championship. Oh, my God. There's a history lesson for you fans out there. Black Bear's not going to like hearing now, that. Before you think I came all this way to challenge the WWA 4 Heavyweight Champion, no, see, I got bigger fish to fry. See, I know how wrestling really works. I'm after the puppeteer who pulls the strings on this show. Oh, who's he talking See, about there? The same man who's responsible Roxy. for the opportunities the superstars get here is the same man who's responsible for the lack thereof opportunities. And actually, that's the same man I actually used to live with. I used to be roommates with him until he kicked me out and sent me backpacking to Illinois when I had nowhere to go. Wow. That's right. I'm talking about you, Mr. Hughes. Uh-oh. Really? Oh! oh boy. You're coming out here, playing your favorites every week, creating the champions you want to create. What, Mr. Hughes? Did I not pay your rent on time? Oh. Boy, I tell you. Tell the truth, you, you never liked me. Whoa. Even with all the heat we have between us, I put all that behind us, behind me. And when I was on the road, I call you, call you up like the father figure you were supposed to be and say, Hughes, I've done this. I did you on TV. I've done that. And what did you say? Oh, well, uh, well they, they, that's great. Well, uh, Amp's doing this, and, and uh, Nation's doing that, and uh, everyone's doing really great. Have you heard of this guy named Stitch? <laughs> Total protection. You know why you don't like the use? I'll tell you why you don't like me. Because I don't like the taste of ass. Oh, I tell right. you. You know, I would rather eat a big bowl of crap before I put my lips Woo. to your cheeks. Whoa! Boy, he's saying a lot there, Brad. There's some big words, Tittle Potato. And you know what, Hughes? That's why I came back here. I came back here, finally, to gain your respect. And gain what's rightfully should have been around my waist a long time ago. The WWA 4 Heavyweight Championship. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here now. As a matter of fact, yeah. how many people want to see me? See, we've all seen Hughes jump out from behind those ropes enter this ring, and what does Hughes do? He, he gets involved. How many people here want to see me jump out of these ropes and jump into that ring over there? And what does Hughes do? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh
Boy, he's talking plenty of trash there. I'm going to get out of here if he's going to be All right, Wait a minute. That sounds like the music of the WWE 4 heavyweight champion. He's answering the call for me, no doubt about it. He's a world heavyweight champion of WWE 4 here. My God. What is it he has to say? Time will tell. Oh, the champ's always got something to say. Black Bear is going to make his way out here. Maybe Blue, I'm going to give it up to him. Ray on the mic tonight. champion making his way to the ring here. Navy Blue said a lot of words by it, Storm. I can back it up at any time, but you see, the world heavyweight champion making that call for me. I don't need no help at all, but I'm curious about what it is Black Baron wants to say. You know, Black Baron had a great match last week. Ashley was not to be seen. And you know what? He has to pull the tights on AR Fox to get the victory. One, two, and three. Well, now, this is going to be a tough, tough contest here as well. Navy Blue, Black Baron. I know your fans want to see this. No doubt about it. The world heavyweight champion, along with Ashley, inside the square circle there. Let's see what Black Baron has to say. What a surprise. It's Calvin, and he brought a plus size stripper from Club Wax next door. Woo! Oh my God! What, what disrespect oh, to the world bug. champion, my God! Fashion bug plus all the way. Well, God, you heard what, what you Airman Banks said about it. <laughs> now that you're done getting your Jamaican juice on my microphone, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. When you acknowledge the WF World Heavyweight Championship, you acknowledge me, the guy that has been dominating since you left. Oh, yeah, really. Goodness. It don't matter how tall you are, I broke you down before. You best to believe that. And when you ever talk about this prestigious title, you better mention the guy that's holding it. Even though technically, I'm not under contract anymore because what happened last week. But, then why are you here? Yeah, we're going to get into that, okay? The Captain America fat ass over there, we're going to get into it. Just calm down, all right? Now, what you need to understand is that, uh, yeah, Mr. Hughes didn't like you that much. Hell, Mr. Hughes didn't like me that much. But guess what ended up happening? Who has this WA4 World Heavyweight Championship? I do. It's all about I talent here, Brad. I, I, I don't have nobody kiss my baby. behind. I mean, my God. Hell, I can't stand his big black ass either. I'm two steps to the away from showing my foot up his ass too. But that's for another day. But you gotta understand something, man. This is not your domain no more. This is the Emperor's domain. This is my empire, and I run it. You understand that? So if you want a shot at this, you're going to have to mosey your Kofi Kingston looking ass to the back of the line, like everybody else, and just wait. For me to unleash the ass whooping upon thee. That's God. all you got to do. The scared, total but attention. I see you anxious. I don't want you to touch me. You're too greasy right now. But I do have an opponent for you. Somebody you're not familiar with. Somebody that I think is probably even better than you, even though you got signed by WWE. But that's a whole other question. I ain't going to get into that. But, uh, go ahead and handle your business, bruh. And, uh, Eli, come on out here and take care of this one. Eli? Give me fuel, give me fire, give me down, to the Eli making his way to the ring here, scheduled to do battle with Navy 